what is up everybody so today we have another expensive one for you <laughs> uh, imagine that so we have the MSR Titan kettle this is the 0.85 liter which works out to be 850 liter uh, milliliters uh, so it's kind of a weird thing with this I, I wanted something that I could have it work that I could just sit on a stove and bring water up to temperature to make some coffee or whatever and you know I have plenty of other things too but I really wanted a kettle I couldn't find the one I was after but I did find this one so let's rip the band-aid off real quick this little uh, kettle um, it's not really a kettle but in my opinion Again, not knocking the company, just uh, this is more of a pot with a pour, sp pour spout, but <clears throat> this is $70. $70 for this thing. Uh, it is very lightweight. Uh, it is titanium. Uh, the, the next closest thing that's going to compare to this would be the Tokes 900 milliliter, and it's $45. So, seventy dollars versus forty-five dollars. Uh, yeah, there's there's some savings there. The Tokes comes with a bag. Um, the Tokes does not have the pour spout, but at the end of the day, is that pour spout worth an extra, you know, ten to twenty dollars? I will say right now they have these on sale on Amazon, but it's a sale, so I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't have a link or anything. I mean, I can just pull a link, but all you got to do is search for it. Um, so let's get into this thing and see what it's all about. Get a little loud here for a minute. So the handle has, I mean, it stays up pretty good on its own, but you can. I'm guessing once it wears in a little bit, slide that over. It looks like it does have it does have a notch right there. Now, one thing that it did advertise, I will say the lid's really nice. It's uh, it's really smooth there. I will say they said that the lid was really well at staying on, and I would agree. So you don't have to worry about when you're pouring does have the handles I try not to be too awful loud actually let's see let's just I want to get a weight on this they claim that it comes in at 4.2 ounces or 118 grams let's let's see scale out here okay it's all teared out and right now this should be in ounces so it's saying 4.5 ounces by my scale let's switch this over to grams I'm showing 127. They're claiming 118. So let's do this. It does have the sticker here for the prop warning, prop 65. I always wonder about those. Is it just from using it? Is it from touching it? Would I have to, to grind this up and ingest it? Let's see if these stickers really make that big of a difference on the weight. Uh, 125, and they were claiming 118. Let me switch it back over to ounces. 
So on ounces, they're calling for 4.2. So their weights are off a little bit. So, well, let's see. Let's see if everybody's is off. So this is a GSI mug. It's saying 5.1 ounces. So everybody's either off by a couple thousandths or tenths or whatever, or my scale is. I have no problem saying that the scale's off by, by that much. So it is very lightweight though, I will give it that. Is it being that lightweight worth the price tag? Are you just paying for the name? I do really like how well the, the lid stays on. You don't have to worry about it popping off while you're pouring. It does have the rubberized coating on the handle. I'm sure this lid will get a little, little less tight as time goes on. Yeah, their little click to lock thing isn't isn't perfect, but it does work. It does have does have a hole to allow the steam to exit. I do like it's kind of confused by these handles at first, but it actually works really well. Keeps your hand away from there. I have a few others I'm eyeballing to see if uh, if I might like them a little bit better, but I'm gonna try this one at work for a while. The key is with titanium, titanium heats up really fast. So much faster than stainless steel. The heat transfer is, is very quick. So it's not the best material for cooking because it does transfer heat so fast uh, you can end up burning your food before you realize it, but for boiling water, uh, it's kind of hard to beat. It uh, it does transfer very quickly. It does work very efficiently. So this may fit the bill. Uh, it is somewhat wide, so I can put some coffee packets and stuff in there, cream and sugar and so on, maybe a little folding spork or something. But yeah, so the MSR Titan Kettle. Call it Titan Titanium. It's nice. It's lightweight, but uh, is that little stamped logo worth the extra twenty bucks? Yeah, could be. You just—it's really up to you. So I'm gonna get this washed up. I'm gonna try it for a while. Probably do a follow-up video after I see how well it works. I want to try it on a stove, like a regular cooktop stove, non-fire, just electric home home range and see how well it works because that's really what I got it for so anyway just a short one today until next time take care